Today, I changed from being a noob in panic by grinding to become a pro. Hi, I am the noob. I only put in 10 hours into this game in the last year, and while I'm level 36, I have never won the weekly top score. My own son had called me a noob, Bruh. and while that was expected from my own flesh and blood, what I did not expect is how painful it would be to prove him wrong. So being ashamed and deciding I can't call myself a pro until I achieve the top score, I decided to go for it. What I also found out was that there is an exclusive item that you can only get from having that top weekly score. We will reveal what that exclusive item is soon. And that, my friends, is where today's video comes in. I spent countless hours to achieve the top weekly score in Panic, and while I still won more games than I lost, I still felt the rage from getting torn up by Happy. To get the top weekly score in Panic, I had to finish checking out my groceries at the three checkout stations and find the exit hatch first each time. Whoever stacked the most wins will be the top weekly player. Now, at first I thought I stood a chance because the top weekly player last week had only 150 wins, however I found myself over the coming days in a real pickle, and so on day one I started I started my journey to right some wrongs. The first thing I did was check the leaderboard to see how many wins everyone has gotten so far. The current leader packed away 38 wins while I started out with zero. See that name there, Vitek Rat? He will come into the story later. After checking the leaderboard, there was only one thing left to do, grind. No, no, not that kind of grind. Sheesh, I'm talking about the hard-fought wins and panic. The first game was rough. Before I could even complete the second scanner, I was hit by Happy twice. The second time, I dropped my item at the second scanner, so what did I do? Rage quit. <laughs> and after that, I was able to settle in and stack the wins. In the seventh game, I achieved something I never thought I could. I became the world's fastest grocery shopper, and I was able to set the fastest escape time in the world at a minute flat. I made a separate video showing exactly how I set the world record. There was also one close call where Ariana Amander, I'm calling Amander, escaped within a half second of my time. Also, I did come in second in one of my later games. I was not happy because I I didn't come in close at all. I ended up losing by 10 whole seconds. All told, in the first day, I ended up playing just over three hours, finishing up the day with 28 wins. I felt comfortable with the second highest win count so far. Why? Well, I knew I could easily beat the 150 wins from last week if I needed to, and so I decided to pace myself like the story of the tortoise and the rabbit. On day two, I rushed home from work, and this is what happened when I walked in the door. Huh? I ran to my computer and checked back to see where my rank was, and I found myself falling behind to my soon-to-be enemy, Vitek Rat. He was up to 35 wins, so I decided my goal for today was to get at least 50 wins to reach the top of the board. After two hours of straight winning, I found myself down to just one heart after completing my first scanner. I was also being chased by Happy while I was trying to gather food items, and yet I could not escape the anger of Happy. After being killed, I decided I gotta take a break before continuing to grind. I quickly hop back on to winning another game, only to have my second game robbed for me. I lost this one by 8 seconds, I recall saying, and if that was not bad enough, Happy killed me just two games later. It was my fault. I did not notice I only had one heart left. And then five games after that, I met Happy again. At this point, I rage quit and quickly shook it off and hopped back on to keep on winning. I finished up day two with five hours played and 60 wins, which secured the top of the leaderboard. Or so I thought. By the time day three hit, I found myself at the bottom of the rat's nest with Vitek Rat back on top with over 94 wins. To crush his spirits, I would have to get over 34 wins. So my goal for the day? Another 40 wins. So in order to get this done, I had to grind so hard that I was kicked out of my house and forced to live on the streets as a homeless person. I lost my wife and my life as I had nothing but my laptop to keep me company in this riches to rags story. For day three, I started off strong, stacking over 18 wins before I found myself trapped between two happy bots. They were the buns and I was the meat, and being sandwiched, I met my defeat. I made it a whole nother hour after this death before I died again. In this case, I was chased by a human playing as happy, and I got juked as I came around the corner of an aisle. I was embarrassed to die by this 9,000 IQ play. And again, after 13 more wins, I was faced with another happy sandwich. That seems to be the most common way I die. Well, at this time, three hours had gone by and being broke and homeless, I decided to sneak into the movie theater to watch my favorite YouTuber. 
GW. There I was gathering win after win and hour after hour and the rest of day three was pretty uneventful other than the permanent brain damage I received from playing four hours straight. That and there was this time here where I could not even come in first. I somehow ended up in third even though I had a pretty good time of only two minutes and 46 seconds. And so all told, I accomplished my goals for the day at a total of 100 wins, six above Vitagrad. And at the end of the day, and instead of sleeping, I decided to rob a bank so that I could buy a house and stop living on the streets. By sunrise of day four, I logged into my top of the line computer from my mansion to check and see what my rank was. But it did not matter, I knew what was going to happen. I was going to be behind Vitek Rat. And so while I was on my lunch break at work, I blazed through 16 wins. That is when I checked the score, only to find out I needed to get 34 more wins to catch up to Vitek Rat. Oh my gosh. Well, being the stubborn person I am, I decided to grind for a couple of hours before I went to bed. I also decided to pace myself in anticipation of the weekend, so I only put away 135 wins for total. Then on day 5, making my first check, my tech rats league grew to just 25 wins, which was great. I decided to make another short night and played through a family dinner to 1-2 KO the soul of Vitek Rat. And with that, I ended day 5 at 161 wins, topping Vitek Rat's 160 wins. To help you picture day 6, take all of the previous 5 days and combine them into a 12-hour marathon. It was Friday after work and I decided to stack away as many wins as I can and I stayed up as late as I can as well. The struggle to make a montage of what 12 hours of gameplay looks like is real. I put it like this. It felt like by the time I was done I had been sleeping all night just to go to bed again. It was miserable. Miserably awesome, when I first logged in, Vitek Rat had jumped another 54 wins to a total of 214 wins. But I was able to flip the script with that all-night run by ending the day or night or whatever you want to call it with 31 more wins of Vitek Rat at a whopping 245 wins. So it all boiled down to day 7. That's right guys, it is never over until the timer runs out. After a quick bite to eat and cashing in some early morning wins, I checked the score again to see Vitek Rat has taken the lead. I am just five wins behind him. What we ended up doing for most of the day is trading wins. For every win I got, Vitek Rat will get one as well. And this went on for five hours or so. Then all of a sudden, I was only three games behind him and it looked like he stopped at 292 wins. So I got a few to get ahead of him and with just four hours to go, I topped the charts with a total of 309 wins. While I did not play anymore, I kept an eye on the scoreboard for the rest of the night to make sure I won the weekly challenge. And yes, I won the challenge! After sucking dozens of hours of all my free time for the week, I was able to win the rare golden backpack. The most awesome part is that it counts the number of wins you get. The only problem is that the counting starts at zero when you get the backpack. So my 500 plus wins I got leading up to this point was not accounted for. Well, let me know what you think. Was this golden backpack worth all the time it took to win the weekly challenge? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you thought the story I told was funny, hit that subscribe button to support me making more high quality vids. Later, guys.